Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to say um, all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to the elders of GMS. And Shalom to the elect out there pushing the word in sincerity and in truth. Now, this video, I'm just going to do a quick video because um, I saw this comment. I'm going to just go to it. This idiot right here. Oh, look, a bar is a cracker. Okay, because mind you, let me just go to the video. The video is a video Ella Gabar did. Uh, GMS mailbag, some surprising information. Everything starts with the lunar. And the Ella was going into how this madman of Israel, um, Nate, Nate Snake and Nate Shake and Bake Satan, was um, trying to dispute as all nimwits do or unlearned you know niggas do is trying to go against the lunatic doctrine so to speak okay so as I was watching the video let me try to find the um this idiot okay as I was watching the video I go on the comment boards all right and this idiot who calls himself Elder Kabar is a cracker was you know he he said you have still yet to prove the new moon is the first day of the week. Scripture, please. So when I read that, I'm like, that's easy. Okay? There's, you know, that's easy. There's plenty of scriptures out there that prove that the first, that the new moon, okay, is the first day of the week. Or the first day of the week is a new moon. There's plenty of scriptures out there that prove it. Now I'm going to go uh, to Leviticus uh, 23 and 24. Okay, it says, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath. So, there you go. It's saying the first day of the month, in the seventh day, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath. Alright? So, let's go to the, the meaning, or the Hebrew definition, or the word for month. It says, speak unto the children of Israel, saying, in the seventh month, in the first day of the month. Now, this idiot just said, what? He said, you have yet to prove that the new moon is the first day of the month. So, we know. Well, let, me, let me just get to it. Okay? It goes to the Hebrew word, ch chadash. Okay? Chadash. It says, what? The new moon. Month. Monthly. The first day of the month. Lunar month, it even goes farther or further. It says lunar month, the first day of the month, the new moon, month monthly. Now, if you have any, um, you know, if you're learned, you would know that the word, um, the word month comes from the word moon. And I mean, it's evident, it tells you right here. This is the word for month, same, same word here as well. It says what. Chadash, new moon, month, monthly, first day of the month. So, what constitutes the month or the new moon? It is, where is it? It's the month. Okay? The, the new moon or the month is constituted by the new moon. Now, I can also, I just proved it here, and I'm also proving it in the scripture as well, in the Apocrypha. The 43rd uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, okay, Ecclesiastes, the 43rd chapter, verse 6, what does it say? It says, he made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign for the world, right? So, it's saying what, and that goes back to Genesis, that goes back, that goes back into the creation. When the, when the powers, okay, being Yahweh Shai and the elect, the angels, the 144,000, uh, Alachayim, when the Alachayim um, created the world from the blueprint from Yahweh, okay, he he ordained the moon to bring in, well, I'm going to just go to it because I have it. This is Genesis 1 and 14. It says, And the powers said, Let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. 
and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. So what determines the days? How how do we how do we determine the days and the years and the in the in the in the weeks? Okay? And and feast days and the seasons. We determine that by the by the moon because that's what it was created for. That's the order of things. Okay? So when you go to this scripture right here, speak unto the children of Israel in the seventh month, in the first day of the month shall you have a Sabbath. So right there it's saying the first day of the month, that is what that is what the new moon is, you idiot. Where are you? He's saying you have you still yet to prove the new moon is the first day of the week. Well, we just did. What the scripture just did. Leviticus 23 and 14. In the first day of the month, you shall have a, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall you have a Sabbath. I'm going to continue. It says, The month is, all, is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument for the armies above, shining in the firmament. Right, so it's saying what? The month is called after her name. What name? The moon. Where is it? For the moon. The month. Or the moon is called after her name. What name? What? The month is called after what name? The moon. That's where it's derived from. Alright? Because you got a lot of scoffers, man. And all their, you know, pretty much, they're just around just to, to be edified. And pretty much they're just uh, they're just here to scoff, and they don't realize it. Okay, they're just here to scoff. They're just here to talk shit. And this is how you know that we're in the last days. This is Second Timothy three and one. This know also the points in um, three and four, but I'm gonna just read it all the way down and end it. It says this also. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves right because you got a lot of niggas on instagram you know you know social media they're all into themselves taking pictures you know looking like niggas idiots you know for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful and unholy all right and that goes into the scoffers because what because cause you got to realize, I saw a brother on the comment board, he made a good point. He said, it's funny how a lot of these scoffers, they're fucking rejects. A, GM, a lot of them are rejects a, a GMS or just rejects, period. Because they don't go out on the streets, on the highways and byways. And they just cater the scriptures just to justify them going off. Oh, the scriptures say we don't have to go off. So, uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's, it, they, they say the scriptures say we don't have to go out and teach. You know? When the scriptures plainly say that. Okay, and you ain't wake up one day and be like, you know what? I'm I'm an Israelite. I'm from, from the tribe of Judah. I'm, or I'm from the tribe of Levi. You you got taught this. Okay? So the so our parents are in the truth are what? The elders. Okay? So the elders taught you everything that you know. Alright? So it says so that's how niggas are being disobedient to parents. Okay, so it's a disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false security, and they're truce breakers to, to Yahweh by Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. Because you got a lot of niggas out there, like scoffers out there, like Izar, um, you know, that, that nigga, he, he just doesn't believe in the, in the Hebrew, so if you notice in his videos, he never says the Most High in his son's name. He never says that. He says, Shalom. Um, my czar. Yet he doesn't believe in Hebrew, but he still has a Hebrew name and he still says Shalom. That guy's a truth breaker. So he, he he's a truth breaker to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because he's not doing the work. Okay? And he and all of them are false accusers. Alright, I'm going to you know, continue on. It says. Yeah, because they're accusing the elders of, of teaching wrong or breaking down the scriptures wrong when that's far from it. You just don't, you just, the most High just blinded you, nigga. That's why you can't see it. Okay? So it's not, that it's, you know, so what? They're false accusers because of that. And the most High is going to judge them for that. You know? 
It says false accusers incontinent or or incontent incon incontent incontinent excuse me fierce and this is a point this is the point I wanted to bring out real quick. It says fierce and despisers it says despisers of those that are good. And who are the ones that are good? The elders of GMS. Because you got a lot of false accusers. Namely, the one right now is Izar, the fucking dinosaur head. Who's saying that, you know, the you know, brothers in the camp aren't brotherly. The, the elders are, you know, trying to shake shake brothers down for some money. No, nah, that's far from it, man. You, you're just a nigga and you're a false accuser because that's, that's far from the truth. At least that nigga Mike Jaina, Mr. Mr. Shape Up Man, Mr. Mr. Sin and Mike. Yeah, we seen you, nigga. The Most High reveals you on the train with the sharpest laser fucking Shape Up. And this guy's a lawman. man. He, 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 this nigga had the sharpest fucking... Anyway. Um, at least that nigga Mike Jaina ain't say that. You know? Mike Jaina admitted, you know what? You, you know, they, they did help our brothers, you know, they did do the arms thing for brothers that was uptight. But this nigga, Izar, he just totally false accusing and saying that they were trying to shake brothers down. Anyway. But the point is what? They're despisers of those that are good. Okay? You know what? Let me just look into into the word. Despisers of those that are good. Okay? Opposed to goodness and good men. And good men through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or the elders of GMS. Okay? And um, the Greek word is what? Strong's G865. Aphilagathos. Aphilagathos. Right. That's the Greek word. I gotta work on my Greek pronunciation, but that's the word. Okay? And that's, that's, that's the scoffers out there. On YouTube, laying on on the comment boards, and they all they all they do all the work on the comment boards. They don't make videos, you know. They don't do anything but scoff. So that proven to you what they're just the most high is just having them there to scoff, and that's it. But you know what? That's it. That's the end of my video. Quick lesson, just to prove to this idiot, Elder Gabar is a cracker. Who he's probably a fucking cracker himself. Um, proving that what. The first day of the month, okay, according to Leviticus 23 and 24, the first day of the month is determined by the new moon. Because we already proved that the word month, if we go to the word, the word month comes, which is chadash, it comes from the word moon. You idiot, new moon. And then if you, you know what, and then if you go to the etymology of the word, it says what? To be new, renew, repair, to renew, make anew, to repair, to, re to renew oneself. What's being renewed? What's being made? What's made to be new? The month. The month is, is that, that determines, that's a new month. And we got that. That was the order. We got that all the way back from, from, from Genesis. Oh, man bunch of idiots anyway that's the end of my video um all praises to y'all by shim y'all shy double honors to the elders of gms and shalom to the elect pushing the word of sincerity and the truth all right shalom